Hey everyone, this is an updated video from the one I posted back in January of this year, 2022. It was the one that was titled How to Move Columns and Rows in Microsoft Excel as of um, January of this year because I had a hard time figuring that how to do that on a MacBook. Prior, the instructions I had was like, you have to make sure, let's like say for example, I wanna move the Y row or Y column highlight it and then I think the instructions I gave was like to hold down control and then make sure you see the hand and then move it over but as of a couple months after I shot that video I realized I no longer had to hold down any keys in order to move rows and columns so for example Y column is is highlighted so long as I see the hand I left click on my mouse and then move it over and release and then if I want to move it back, well, I can backwards that. And then let's say I want to move the 12th row. I have to make sure that I select this 17th row here and then hover my mouse on the top or to the bottom. So long as I see the glove, I can left click hold with my mouse and then move it anywhere I like. And you can see that it's moving and then release it once I figure out where I want that column to go. And the same can be said, like, let's say, for example, I want to highlight, I want to move rows or columns U to X. I'm going to make sure I highlight, you got to highlight, not like this, but highlight like this, U to Y, and then I'm going to hover my mouse, and I'm using a Bluetooth mouse, by the way. Hover my mouse over either to the left, hold, left hold on my mouse, and then move it over. Or I can do it on the other side, left click hold, move left to right, and then release it whenever I have found where I want this to go. And if you're not wanting to move everything that's in the U through Y columns, because it's going to highlight everything to up to infinity, Highlight the cells containing the information you're wanting to move over. And so long as you hover your mouse over to the any of the outer corners, left, bottom, right, so long as you see the glove, left click hold on your mouse and then move over to wherever you would like to translate that information to and let go. And that's that. Honestly speaking, I believe that it depends on which Microsoft Excel version you're running on your MacBook, as well as maybe the age of the MacBook. That depends, uh, that would determine if these tutorials I posted help. Um, the MacBook that I'm using is a 2020 MacBook Pro. And I was trying to figure out which version of Excel I have, I currently have, and I clicked help up at the toolbar, and this was the information I got. It said go to Excel on the top toolbar and select about Microsoft Excel. You'll see the current version and who has the license. And so that's what I did. I clicked Excel up at the top toolbar and clicked about Microsoft Excel. And the version I'm currently running as of November 2022 is version 16.66.1. So yeah, this is an easier way to translate rows and columns on Microsoft Excel on a MacBook as of 2022. Thanks for watching.